Indiana Councilman mocks trans community. Quote, I identify as a woman of color. Community members showed up in force at the Delaware County Council meeting Tuesday, and most who spoke were demanding Ryan Webb resign as a member of the council, following his declaration on Facebook earlier this month that he identifies as a woman of color. Charlize Jameson, a transgendered female, addressing the council, saying, quote, I know better. We all do. I know better because of his history of making hateful anti-trans statements on social media and disrespecting disrespecting one's pronouns. He has purposefully and intentionally misgendered me. That is not something transgender people do to one another. End of quote. She also went on to say that Webb was being disingenuous and his words embarrassed the county council too. Webb and the rest of the council sat silently as a parade of people addressed the elected officials, showing various degrees of disappointment and anger, each speaking for about three minutes as allowed by council rules. Students who demand action by Burr's Laboratory School also spoke at the meeting. Six students approached the podium and demanded Webb's resignation, with one student saying, people like Webb make the process of figuring out who one is even more difficult. Later, Webb told the Star Press that the people who spoke against him had a right to voice their concerns, but he wishes they would step back and realize they are perpetuating hate, intolerance, and bigotry towards him. I think that's called projection. Mm -hmm. and irony and well and just stupidity stupidity i mean we see that on a daily basis in current politics they blast and blast and blast and we're the ones being the bad guys so the masses I mean, of I, turning around the conversation and making it that they're the victim as opposed to exactly the one of, that's on the attack you know but listen this ignorance it, this is a really <laughs> ugly example of the ignorance in the heterosexual community right. and this conservative heterosexual uh, agenda, this c very conservative, uh, because, you know, their ignorance will be like, oh, this person is trans, identifies as trans. They look like a man or they look like a woman. They don't look like whatever they're uh, choosing to claim to be, right? Uh, but they don't understand the whole conversation. Right. Right. So they don't understand the transition period. They don't understand, but that, that, that's, that, that's the ignorance. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's like, Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trans woman of color. Just let me, let me be, let me be. Don't, don't attack me. They think it's just a pronoun rather than a feeling and a, and a reality. And or it's a well, person. They know, a they person. know, they know they what know. it is. They know. I would call him yeah. a troll, but that's an insult to trolls because trolls are cute little things with, oh. with funky uh, hair that goes up and, like and all gnomes that. Gnomes more than, than. Is that gnomes? No, gnomes are different. Okay. No, that's no, no, no. Yeah, a troll. The hats and yeah. The, okay. The troll is the cute little yeah. ugly yeah. thing that has hair. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as opposed to the cute little thing that's bald. But I yeah. <laughs> But no, these these um to a certain extent are my people. I lived in Delaware County for four oh. years. That is where Ball State University is. Okay. Uh so I attended there nineteen ninety to uh nineteen ninety five. And this is pretty much on brand. This is pretty much on brand. I mean, it's not even like a liberal, like Muncie, Indiana, that's the main city where the, the, the college is in Delaware County. It's not like that's even a bastion of liberalism that, you know, like a little blue dot in a, this red county. It's really not. When I was there, they were um, internally, they were having a conniption fit whether the lesbian and gay organization should be the LGB. They were having a conniption fit over adding the B to the acronym. So that's these people, okay. and they're not going to move a whole lot, but it warms my heart that kids from the university came out and spoke up. They know, they're smart enough to know that they're not going to change things, but they are calling him out. They're on television. We're promoting their message. So I would say this is really about the best possible outcome that we could hope for. And we're seeing that across the country. Yeah. We're seeing youth coming out and saying enough is enough. We're not going to put up with hate. We're not going to put up with... with any of that discrimination and stuff, we want everything to be equitable and we're going to come out and vote. And that's the hope that in this next two elections, especially the presidential one coming up, that they're going to come out and speak up and they're going to speak up against all the people that are haters mm -hmm. and trying to push other people down. And this is where we hope that this will backfire on all of these folks that are making these laws right now, that they're going to see everything that they've done unraveled for the equality of, the, of human people, of human beings, of, of society. 
LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.